a few weeks ago, well, beginning of November, whenever All Saints Day was, I was in Greenville, South Carolina, and I was playing at it like a huge Baptist church, and they were doing like their version of the Litany of the Saints, and so, I mean, this went on for like five minutes of just one of the pastors was just reading everyone in the congregation who had died, and then I was supposed to play <laughs> right afterwards, and originally, the pastor had asked if I would play an arrangement of a Chopin piece that I have. Um, it was kind of too long. And so I, I suggested that rather than sort of dictate something, that I just improvise. Um, so it really felt like a very risky moment because I don't know any of the people in the room I don't know any of the names that have been mentioned of saints who have died. Um, but, I, you know, you can feel the, the heaviness or the need for something, um, some kind of expression. So what I decided to do, which I hadn't decided until, you know, listening and just being there with everyone, was they had sung, I think, For All the Saints as the opening hymn, you know, which usually isn't really, it's more kind of marchy and <laughs> um, processional uh, in tone. So um, I can show you a little bit of sort of how I approached this. I mean, it's not going to sound the same at all, but I think I took like the first few notes like, um, and I just went with it for maybe three minutes. So... for a while. <laughs> this, is, this is why I like taking a little tiny cell, or as a composer, I like taking that and developing it and working with it and like getting some milk out of it, you know. Um, I don't think we always get to stay with an emotion for a while.